Hi everyone, it's Martin Pickering and today we're going to show you how Electron Retrax go from a solid lump of aluminium to the best Retrax on the market today. Let's see exactly how they do it. That looks more like a missile launch to me. <laughs> We've done all the machining, now we have it all sorted out into different little parts and all kinds of... So we've got some struts, different parts to the struts, got wheel hubs, you name it, it's here. Yeah, they can put those back later. Any guesses? <laughs> and no, it isn't a very funny Christmas tree. Uh, amandizing station. Here we have all the uh, different parts uh, that have been anodized, in this case black, and uh, even the silver ones uh, that look like nothing's happened to them get uh, a coating, making sure that uh, they're always guaranteed to be nice and shiny and clean and spotless, no matter how much we fly. I still kind of like it as a Christmas tree though. Next step. We have the main body of the retract itself and all the little fiddly parts which go inside, the ones that actually make it work as a retract. So we have Electron's very unique square thread trunnion, which allows the retracts to move both quicker and with more torque than other brands or the previous type of uh, thread. That's of course attached to the part that actually makes the retract move. And then we have the actual turnbuckle end itself and the motor simply screws onto the end here. Once that's all done, hopefully, if we've done it right, we'll have a working retract. These are how the motors arrive at Electron Retracts. So it's just the uh, simple motor with its uh, gearbox already attached to it. We then take the parts that we machined previously and have already anodized, couple them all up, all inside as we know, and then everything gets neatly soldered on to make the end piece that we all actually receive for the model itself. This then just screws onto the main body of the actual retract itself. Couldn't be much simpler. Over here, we have all the actual struts themselves. Now, all the struts, of course, are individual pieces, which then get matched up with the uh, counterparts. And this is just where everything's mounted up. Just all the springs, everything's split up into the different sizes as needed. So we have the small ones, the big ones, and this is the end result. So one of the best things Electron Retracts have are, aside from the fact that everything's electric, they actually have electric brakes that work. This is a big concern for everyone. You really need your model to stop at the end of the runway when you get to the end of the runway, especially if it's an emergency. And Electron Retracts have done exactly that. 
they were the first ones to get electric brakes to work and they're still the ones that work the best today. Now, it couldn't be much simpler, but it's a very refined system. They have little hub which they wind themselves to a very specific number of winds. Now, that becomes an electromagnet when you put current through it. So that goes in there like so. And then the actual brake disc has a series of uh, rubber pads on it with some very fine tolerances to make sure that they are both grippy enough to make you brake but not so much that it's going to make you skid because your wheel locks up, etc. Not to mention that with the three different electronics that they have, two of them have ABS. So you have nice smooth braking no matter what you're doing. Okay, so as well as making electric reek tracks, electric brakes, they now also make electric pistons. Now, I've had a few of these and they are amazing. I mean, they work just like a servo, but you really, uh, there's no way of stopping them. And really, they set them up in the same way. You have a little case where the motor goes, and then everything else just basically slots on from there on. And what you get at the end is one amazingly, amazingly tough <laughs> little piston. <laughs> yeah, the, the piston's got some torque on it. <laughs> <laughs> the actuator can definitely, um, I think you'll do a decent, a decent job of keeping your doors open or closed. <laughs> okay, so we've got your retracts, we've got your struts, we've got your brakes, and we've got your actuators. We just need something to control it with. So, Electron have three controllers. We have the RB45, which is the basic version, which has retracts and brakes on the one unit. Uh, we have the RS200 which is the same but adds in three gear doors as well as ABS and a couple of other nifty features. And the uh, GS200 which is the absolutely amazing version which has a gyro inside, touch screen, it's got uh, eight gear doors on it, ABS, all the features, uh, gyro assisted braking so you don't have any of the skidding on braking even uh, added braking in the steering if you want to for taking off you name it this is the one you want yeah best not throw this one okay at the moment I feel like I should be wearing some glasses and pen over here as a nerdy someone uh, this is where we test all the electronics and uh, retracts and everything before it goes out the door. So make sure that all the legs are working with the uh, electronics. We have the, our steering, we have the brake. So the, uh, we don't have the brake actually set up, so we have two, uh, two bulls, so it's very easy to see that the brake's working correctly the more you give it. As it's proportional, the, the brighter it gets. You can even test that the, uh, this is the GS200, uh, which actually has a gyro inside it. So if we move it, we can actually, it'll actually prevent skidding by braking more on one side than the other, if need be, so that you always get a straight brake, avoid that like skidding like this chair does. back in with the retracts. And the brakes go off automatically once the retracts go in, because of course there's no point in having the brakes on inside the plane, other than to use battery, which would be pointless, so off automatically. Okay, I should probably point out at this point that it's not a good idea to program your GS200 with a screwdriver. This is Joel, he owns Electron Retrax. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> okay, and that's it. That's the Electron Retrax factory. I have to thank Joel, the owner manager of Electron Retrax, for both all the help throughout the years and for letting me come today to uh, wreak absolute havoc here at the factory. 
Uh, I dread to think on Monday morning when everyone comes back and they try to figure out why everything's in the wrong boxes and nothing's where it should be and everything's out. Uh, but I've had a blast of a time. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, factory visit. And uh, remember, next time you need some retracts, some brakes, accessories, Electron retracts. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, little bell, notifications, all that good stuff. See you next time.